champion, Christina Hammer, defends her titles against former middleweight champion, Tori Nelson. And just a little bit earlier tonight, my partner Steve Farwood had a chance to sit down and chat with Tori Nelson. Tori Nelson, your first career loss was on Showtime to Clarissa Shields. What did you learn from that fight that you can apply to fighting Christina Hammer tonight? That I need to let my hands go more. Like I need to punch more, don't look for that perfect punch. Just let them go. You've said that Christina Hammer's overlooking you because obviously she's thinking about a fight down the road with Clarissa Shields. How do you take advantage of that? I let her know that I'm here. I give her that pressure that she's not used to and I bang that body, take her jab away and just beat her up. So the key is slipping the jab, right? Exactly, yes sir. Are you prepared to throw punches like crazy for two minutes every round? Definitely prepared to throw punches. That's your game plan. Her down because she's going to run the whole time. Tori, we wish you luck. Thank you, thank you. So that was Steve Farr talking with Tori Nelson. We did try incidentally to speak with Christina Hammer and she was really involved in getting prepared to go out here and, and fight this fight against Tori Nelson. So she decided against speaking with us, but we okay. did try. Okay, come on. And behind her manager and trainer is Tori Nelson. She came to the sport of boxing late. She was 29 years old and did so as a means just to lose some weight. One day a trainer said, I'll pay you to fight, to which she said, you pay me and I'll become a world champion. Nelson won the WBC middleweight title in her fifth pro fight. She had back-to-back -back draws in 2012 and 2013 and other bids to earn world middleweight titles. She fought only once each in 2016 and 17, appeared on Showtime in her first fight of 2018 against Clarissa Shields, as we said. Now she's 41 years old, never been down, never been stopped. She's aggressive, tenacious, great chin, mental toughness, wants to be busier tonight, Steve. That's what she told us. Let's talk about your keys to victory. Well, Barry, for Tori Nelson, it starts with head movement. She already addressed that. She has to make Hammer miss with the jab. If she slips that punch, she'll have a chance to get close. Get inside, stay inside. A polite boxing match doesn't serve Nelson at all. She has to make it an ugly fight. And bang the body, a concentrated body attack just might slow Hammer's lateral movement. And here you get your first look at 27-year-old Christina Hammer. She's 22-0, one no contest as a professional. She holds both the WBC and WBO female middleweight belts. She's owned the WBO version since way back in 2010 and through 11 successful defenses. We've seen a ringside for Clarissa Shields' last two fights in the hopes of securing a showdown with the American star. The Kazakhstan-born Hammer moved to Germany at age one. She has fought 18 of her 23 fights in her adopted country, three in Slovenia, and two in the Czech Republic. She trained in Dortmund, Germany, in Seefeld, Austria, and in Hollywood, Florida, in preparation for this fight, while putting a flourishing modeling career on hold. She's tall, she's athletic, excellent footwork, and more than anything else, a terrific jab. So Steve, talk about the keys to victory for Christina Hammer. Well, uh, Barry, we start with no news here. Stay outside. Hammer gets very uncomfortable when her opponents get close. She needs room to operate. Third weapon. Hammer needs something to complement her jab and straight right. right. Why not try a right uppercut? And punches and combos. When Hammer throws three and four punches at a time, she almost always wins the exchanges. So from the Detroit Masonic Temple here in Detroit, Michigan, it's the WBC and WBO Female World Championship. Christina Hammer versus the challenger, Tori Nelson. We go once again to the center of the ring for the introduction of the fighters in our second bout of the evening. Here again is Pete Trevino. Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, more action straight from the historic Masonic Temple here in the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan. It's all being brought to you by Salida Promotions and Showtime. Tonight's sponsors are Greek Town Hotel and Casino, Superior Bu Buick Cadillac GMC, Anita Active, Five Hour Energy, and Hotel St. Regis Detroit. Introducing to you the three judges scoring ringside. Catalia Chambers, Pasquale Procopio, and Benoit Roussel. Your referee in charge of keeping the fight clean, fair, and exciting is Frank Garza. 
This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC and WBO Female Middleweight World Championship. WBC Supervisor in Attendance, Seymour Civic. WBO President, Francisco Varcarces. And Supervisor Porfirio Betegon in Attendance. Presenting your fighters first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Nelson. Wearing black trunks, standing five feet six and a half inches tall, she weighed in at 157 and one half pounds. She brings with her to the ring a record of six, 17 wins, one loss and three draws, with two of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Chase City, Virginia, here is the former WBC female middleweight champion, Tori Shonuff Nelson. Her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Hammer Team Germany, wearing red trunks. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, she weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. Her record stands at 22 wins, no losses, and one no contest, with 10 of those victories coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Dortmund, Germany, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning and defending WBO and WBC female middleweight champion of the world, Christina. Lady Hammer! <laughs> Referee Frank Garza with final fight instructions. Ladies, it's your time to shine. Let's give the audience what they want. Touch them up. Come out, the, come out when I signal for you to come out at the bell. Best of luck to both of you. Unified rules here, and first we take a look at the tail of the tape. You see Hammer with that huge reach advantage, seven inches. So Nelson, much smaller, has to get inside and stay inside. And the rules, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The fight becomes official after four rounds. And remember, this is women's boxing. In this case, they are fighting two-minute rounds, Barry. All right, with that, we are set to go. And uh, you made the point earlier, Steve. Tori Nelson feels she has to make it ugly. Now, can she do that? and get inside the jab of Hammer. Hammer does have a good jab, and obviously it's a long jab, so she's got big advantage in terms of height and reach. And Hammer said she wants to not only win, she wants to be impressive tonight, because she's fighting an opponent who Clarissa Shields has already fought and beaten, but yeah. gone the distance. And it's her US debut. Four punch combination from Hammer. You know, Hammer landed her first punch in this fight and had a little smirk on her face, a little smile. I'd say she is no nonsense. It, but I, that said, and, and I think it's worthy of mention, all four of the women that we're going to be watching tonight, they're, they're people you want to sit down and have a cup of coffee with. Yeah. Just terrific people, and they all have a fascinating backstory. And all stories very different from each other. Uh huh. Hammer's really working that jab and just controlling the, the distance so far. Nelson can't find a way to get in. She's too far away. Good right hand oh. right there. Everything starts off the jab. Yes. And, and it's not just a show me jab, it's a strong jab. Three punch combination again. Very Hammer. sharp, very sharp combination. I'll by say. Christina, yes. Very composed. In control. You know, she says, this is the way I fight. You have to do something about it. Just missed with that right hand. Nelson was open. Yeah, there's no secrets with Christina Hammer's style. Just not letting Tori Nelson get even close to inside. Bell. Very impressive first round, I thought, for Hammer. We had an opportunity to talk to both these fighters about what they need to do. Here first is Tori Nelson. Stay in her chest. Stay close in a distance where she has to be punching. I punch when she punch. Wear her body down, slow her down, and win the fight. 
Um, in the first couple of rounds, uh, I land good jabs to stop her when she comes forward, aggressive. So I use my reach, uh, always keep the distance, hold the distance, and I get no punches. I land only punches, and uh, when she comes forward, I stop her with my right hand, and she goes down. That's the picture. Oh, with a, with a punch. Punch. Sheena Hammer is at her best when she jabs and follows up with more punches. And there you see a three, four, four punch combination. I said that in the keys to victory. She's very effective when she punches in bunches. Well, I thought in the first round, everything she just said there, she did. She gets really good leverage. Very yeah, uh, balanced. Yeah, good control of her feet. Yeah, exactly, her balance there. She's a real pro. Yes. I like what I see so far. Me too. And, and Tori Nelson is no gimme. I mean, she she was in, you know, with Tina for all 10 rounds and didn't win any rounds, but she was taking all, all uh, not Christina, Clarissa's shots. Took all her shots. And Tori Nelson fighting a bunch of different weights, many times over her natural or her best weight, has never been on the floor as a professional. Right now, she's getting a boxing lesson. <laughs> Nelson slipped her right handed, but she took two. Yeah, but she's single punching. She's not going to get to her with a single shot. She's got to jab her way in. Jab her way in, and like she said, get her in chest. Take one shot. One shot. Every time a fighter, you know, an aggressive fighter fights a, a another fighter that's very technical and technical sound and good movement, good balance, like Hammer, they always say they're going to put the pressure on, but they forget to jab or throw more jabs and move their head when they're coming in, Barry. Steve, I got to tell you, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with her jab just by the power in it. She sets down on it really well, and a couple times she's just stopped Tori Nelson moving in. Yeah, she fights tall, the jab is straight and hard, and the right hand is very straight as well, which is important. That was a slapping right hand from Nelson. Bill! You More fighting. You can in again. Not ringing, more fighting. How can you Make eyes, so close eyes. Thank you, bro. Okay. Go forward. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But so, 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 so. Try, try. With avocado. She's open. Okay. And this is a look at go easy on that over the shoulder, you. Clarissa oh, Shields, who is watching this. That's her on the left of your screen there. She's watching it with great interest. And she told us yesterday she would not watch it. That's right. I don't know that he's an ex-fighter or okay. you know, okay. manager Time that managed my box. son. Watch my kids. I don't think that's a good idea to watch. To watch. Right before you're fighting, you know, one of the biggest fights of your yeah. life, your career. Two good right hands, and it, again, Hammer absolutely following the advice of Dimitros Kimos in her corner. Good right hand there, and I think that hurt Nelson a bit. You know, the more aggressive Nelson is, the more punches Hammer throws. And you mentioned Dimitri Kimos, 83 years old. He's been with, huh? with a Hammer her entire career, and he has quite a reputation as a teacher and a trainer. Yeah. And, uh, when he taught in the former Soviet Union. Stop! Time! Mouthpiece came out. It's okay. Troy Nelson, as she is one, said, I'm sorry. And it's interesting that Hammer had the presence of mind to point that out yeah. to the referee. Yeah. Back, back, back. Oh, no, no, all the way back. Time in, box. Shake down, 
again, two excellent jabs from Hammer. Nelson Four, landed five, it. six punches. And Nelson landed a right hand. Look what she got for Yeah. Him. Like you said, four, five, or six punches is what she got. Hammer's very, you know, precise, very calculating, very, you know, with her shots. And he is. She makes them count, and they're, you see them all. Yeah, not a lot of wasted beautiful. punches. No, 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 beautiful Break. boxing. Yep. Break. Nice uppercut, close quarters by Hammer. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Now we're in round three, and that's the first time I saw anything or any situation where Nelson forced Hammer to hold. He used to do that about 50 more times. Nelson trying to go for it a little bit more, but if you're part of the expression, she got hammered. Yeah, exactly. Breathe. Breathe. Good round. That's the round. You got to find your find your rhythm now. Good. How you feel now? She will swag it up. Look, the start to the body, because that's where you're getting her. She can't punch. All right, you're acting like she's. I know. We do that coming in. Swag on her. Let come and hit that body. Hit that body and work from that. Got to make it a fight. You're down three. Oh, we figured we would be. You're good, though. You're breaking her down. You're good. You're in good position. But look, get to her before you try to hit her. You're trying to walk to her, work off of her rhythm, and rip that body. Then we'll work from her body, all right? Come on, we're going to win this fight. Starts right now. Here. Start right now. I got this, tool. I got it. Four. I thought that was a pretty interesting conversation where he said she can't fight. Tori Nelson said she's got a good jab. <laughs> <laughs> she's got an excellent jab. I mean, she's being tattooed with that jab in all kinds of ways. I like the way Amber really uses that jab and, and works off of it. Absolutely. And one punch Nelson's trying, she's tried it a few times, it's kind of dipping down and throwing an overhand right, which makes sense against a taller opponent with a bigger reach. But each time she's come up short or the punch being blocked, she hasn't landed that shot. Three punch combination again. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good jab. And she's pretty quick with that right hand behind it. Very explosive and, you know, she changes the speeds of the combination. A lot of speed and power. Round one, Hammer landed 13 punches. Round two, she landed 13 punches. And round three, she landed 13 punches. Wow. Let's go overhead. Now in spots, you see Nelson backing up. If she backs up, she has no chance. She just has to suck it up and take the punishment that it takes. As cruel as that may sound. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, you're right. You're right, Steve. Once you see Nelson going Fuck. back and she keeps going more back, it's over for her. It's over, yeah. But she's mentally tough. Very mentally tough. She is. You mentioned that she works at an IHOP. Used to drive a school bus also. But after her last fight with Clarissa, her, her tips went, went up at that IHOP. <laughs> That's what she said. She talked about it, yeah. Break, break, step back, step back. Bucks. Bell. And you're in the corner now of Hannah Gabriel. She too is a champion, and we talked about the fact that she should give Clarissa Shields as much as she's ever had in a fight. Very confident, been around the track a little bit, has skills. That's a power couple. Her, her husband, who's uh, taping her hands before, working with her now, that's Brian Vasquez. He's one of the top 100, 130 pounders in the world. He fought for a world title against Javier Fortuna, came up a little short. But she has a regal, royal look to her, doesn't Isn't, she? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. They're a great couple. And, and 
an aside, but they're a very loving couple. Yeah, she gives them a lot of credit for uh -huh. her success and her learning in the ring. That's a phrase you don't hear too much in boxing, a loving couple. No. <laughs> This is round five. Dominant performance thus far for Christina Hammer. You know, when, when I spoke to her backstage before, Nelson said, you know, I'm going to put pressure on because Hammer's going to run all fight. Well, she's not running. No, she's not. <laughs> and it isn't easy. It's easy, too, isn't it, Raul, that to mistake running for good movement. Yeah, it's not. You're talking about. I, I mean, it's it's not always running. It may appear to be running, but it's actually good movement. Oh yeah, absolutely. She knows how to use the ring and the whole ring. She's very smart and takes control. You see, uh, look at her. She moves, knows when she's got to move to the right, to the left, throw her jab. I, I love her style. And just to add something to what Raul said, how many times have you seen Hammer against the ropes in this fight? No, hardly at all. I think zero. In fact, yeah, I was going to say, it I seems can't like every, every time she touches the ropes, she takes it back to the center yeah. of the ring and keeps circling around her. Well, you know, as, as I watch her, I mean, the word that keeps coming to mind for me is she's a pro. She really gets it. She's really has great skills, and obviously a great understanding of the game. I mean, she's really showing that she's the boss. Yes. Well, and didn't she, even though she's very nice when we talked to her, but Break. she Come gives off that, that ambiance that, Box. you know, I'm in charge here. Confident, very confident. She's a confident fighter. Tell that story, didn't she? And being in a, was it a club in, in Germany and, uh, well, go, you tell the story, Steve. Well, yeah, a girl slapped her, so she slapped the girl back. The girl's boyfriend came over. He slapped uh, uh, Hammer, and Hammer knocked him out and got thrown out of the club. So she may be a little tougher <laughs> in her boxing style shows. Bill. A dominant performance thus far for Hammer. And I think the numbers will show that, especially the jab numbers, 32 to 9 and connects for Hammer. Not a huge percentage of her jabs, but still she throws so many that landing 32 has won her most of the rounds. And power shot's actually pretty close body punching to Nelson. So the total connects because of the advantage of jabs goes to Hammer. <laughs> Round one, Hammer started off doing what she does best. Jab, jab, right hand. That's her ticket. Yeah, right again with Nelson at the perfect distance for Hammer. Hammer lands a big right hand in round three. She's controlled every round. Flailing a little bit there, not a lot of power. She's not a big hitter. Give me your control of this fight. Round six. Round six. Come on. This is round six, and uh, Troy Nelson's just going to have to find something that just has not been there. And mainly, it hasn't been there because Christina Hammer's not let it be there. <laughs> Now, I have high expectations in the second half of this fight. I want to see Hammer back Nelson up, maybe go to the body a little bit, do some of the things she doesn't always do. We know she has a good jab in the right hand. I want to see something more. That right hand put Nelson on one foot. Pinpoint that just, you know, right down the middle. And, and her defense is good too. She carries her, she's got that frame defense, carries both of her hands, both of her hands up, blocks a lot of shots, moves around her. I, I love her style, guys. I really do. It's the first time I see her fight live, and I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, I am too. The one punch she has not mastered at all yet is the left hook. You see very few of them. I'm watching her train in New York a, a, a few months ago. I didn't see much technique in it. I think it's just a punch she doesn't use, isn't comfortable with. Oh, uppercut. Sneaky. I was about to say, look for that sneaky uppercut. Changes that right hand. She's got a little sneaky uppercut. 
That keeps right. There he goes again. Yeah. Yeah. Throws it very short quarters. That shows you that, you know, she's a thinking fighter. She's not in there just to throw punches. There it was again. And Nelson is, is just out in there right now to throw punches. And there you get a good look at Anthony Durrell. And the lady sitting next to him is Karen Weaver, who is the mayor of the city of Flint, Michigan, and of course the hometown of the Durrell brothers and of Clarissa Shields as well. And that's Lyric alongside, right? You know your rappers, Barry. Uh, of course I do. Clarissa Shields, incidentally, is uh, donating a portion of her salary to Flint Future Fund. After her fight, the Future Fund is used to purchase bottled water, which they distribute to citizens through churches and other community organizations in Flint. We all know about the water issue in Flint that's been going on entirely too long. Yeah, it's one of the ugliest stories in recent American history, to be blunt about it. Flint, a good boxing town with the Durrells and Clarissa Shields, and let's not forget Chris Bird. Chris Bird, my Olympic uh, teammate. Nice ride, right. too. Got a silver medal. Well, Hammer is now beating Nelson at Nelson's own game. Even when she gets it close quarters, Hammer is beating him. Well, two questions. I'll throw this out. They don't necessarily need to have an answer. One is, she do, should she be doing more, or should she just be happy to win every round the way she's winning? Because she's looking to impress as much as she's looking to win. Yeah, yes, I, I, I think she, I think she's trying to do a little bit more. She hadn't shown that uppercut until, <coughs> excuse me, until the last couple of rounds. Yeah. And she's kind of, it strikes me that she's kind of willing to try fighting on the inside and see how that goes also. For me, I, you know, I just didn't expect this from her. I'm, I'm very impressed, and I think if she, Put a little bit more pressure and put her punches together. She'll be more effective against uh, Nelson and maybe maybe stop her. You know, like I, I have the referee stop it. TKO. Well, right now, Christina Hammer's finding out what Clarissa Shields already knows, which is that Tori Nelson is one tough lady. Yeah, maybe not the most skilled. She is a former world champion. Bucks. But that was at middleweight, and I don't think that's her best weight. And she admitted it's not her best weight. She says she's better at 47 or 154. That's right. There was one punch from Nelson and five from him. She's fast. You know, I, I ran into Nelson at, at her hotel, and uh, I was asking her, you know, when you fought Clarissa, what did you feel about her? I, I didn't feel really her power. It was her speed. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things that you really don't know as a fighter until you go in there and you realize how fast that person is. And I think that's the problem she's having tonight with Amberberry. Eighth round. Christina Hammer is best when she punches in combination. Straight punches, yes, she'll finish with the jab, but four and five punch combinations. As I said earlier, she always wins those exchanges. Go forward. Okay. Okay. Hold your left arm. So round eight, a dominant performance by Christina Hammer thus far. Nelson actually throwing seven punches per round less than she did against Clarissa Shields. Now that's interesting. And if these rounds seem to be flying by, it's because they're two-minute rounds. We're so conditioned to the men's game. We do three-minute rounds. Two right hands got Tori Nelson a little bit off balance there. They want Christina Hammer to come forward here. Over in, let go over, let go over, let go over. Punch out, punch out. The punches landed. 
clearly in favor of Hammer, who's been busier and more active. That was a left hand from Tori Nelson, but just one only. Step back, step back, step back, all the way back. Box! Your that card, it's hard to see it any other way. Yeah, I think that's my card, that's your card, and that's Raul's card. Exactly. Yes. It's a right hand. Nelson just shook it off. Too far away for Nelson. Uh, it's not that she's not trying to get inside. She's trying, but the, you know, Hammer's movement. It's a nice... Sneaky uppercut again. Box. I'll tell you, Nelson, she's a tough lady. She is. She takes a lot of shots. Got a good chin. Hammer pushing her punches a little bit now. Box. So this is round nine of this 10 round fight, a fight that is absolutely dominated by Christina Hammer. Hard to imagine seeing it any other way but that. Nice uppercut again. That uppercut is a very sneaky punch. Stop, stop. No, no, Good to see her use a no, different no. weapon. And you know, we're, we're not talking a lot about Caressa Shields here for Hammer because obviously Caressa has a very big fight with Gabriels in a few minutes. But the fact of the matter is, this is an audition. She's trying to win, Hammer's trying to win the American Fight Fans Imagination here so that they will project how she would do against Caressa Shields. I think it's pretty clear that she has many more skills than everybody, Gabriels aside, of course, that Caressa Shields has fought to date. No, no question. She has... She has as much skill as any female fighter that I've seen, just in terms of book style. Yeah, what she tries to do right. and what she does well, yes. She had one tough fight in her career against a French woman named Anne Sophie Mathis about four years ago, and it ended, it was an abbreviated fight because Sophie Mathis hit Hammer uh, behind the head and Hammer couldn't continue, but Hammer was pressured in that fight, and it was a close fight while it lasted. Now, all of that said, I'm not sure she's hurt Tori Nelson in this fight. But you made the point earlier, Tori Nelson has never hit the deck. Yeah. Well, she might have stopped her in her tracks a couple of times with that straight one-two down the middle and that solid jab. Like that. And even when she throws it, like, exactly, like punches and bunches, she's got to feel something. But, you know, she's just tough lady. She keeps coming. Really attacking the wrong way. Yeah, Hammer landed a big right hand to the body a few seconds ago. Break, 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 yeah, that is something she hasn't shown a lot of in this fight. She hasn't thrown a lot of body shots. Good. You ate. I like the effort. I like coming forward like that. Breathe. Just got one more round, one more chance. Hey, don't, no, 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 don't, don't give me that face. You got a chance. People get knocked out in the 10th round. Okay, predict your game. Control, control. That's most important. Push, don't punch till you get to her. Punch when you get to her. You're, you're, you're trying to hit her before you're there. I'm like, get to her. Just get to her. Okay? Christina, end the hole. Christina, hands up. Fox! We should point out, Barry, that the man translating Harold Pia is the manager yes. of Christina Hunt. Fox! Well, he's got a good client. <laughs> yes. Break! Break! 
back, back. You know, going in, of course, assumed Hammer would be dominant with the jab, but that's her game. But she's also outlanded Nelson 53 32 in power connects. And that's why she's won every Box. round. I mean, again, you can say the same thing about Tori Nelson that we said the last time. She's game, but just simply outgunned here. Way outgunned. Yes. Go back, go back, let go, let go, let go. No, 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 no. Hitting the back of the head, okay? My break, my break. Let go. My break, my break. Step back. Come on, lady. Let's go. So you have to think that this will encourage that there should be an influx of female boxers because of the success of people like Christina and uh, Clarissa Shields. Oh, no doubt, and also just the exposure they're getting, uh, largely on Showtime, right. has been critical for the women's game. It has to be very motivating for even the, 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 the girls that fight amateur. The amateur. Yeah. I would think. Yeah. Good right hand. Let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go, let her go. Step back, step back. And there have only been a couple of Box. Olympic games where there's been women's boxing, and look what it did for Clarissa Shields. Right. Among others, Katie Taylor winning the gold medal. No talent. It really tired. Yeah. Box. 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 And that's it. And a very lopsided fight to be sure. But I'll tell you what. I I mean I'm I come away from this fight saying that's a professional fighter. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, to me, it was uh, easy work for her. It was more like a like a sparring match. She was in there just having fun. Uh, Nelson uh, really never put her in any kind of trouble. No. And, you know, she, Hammer did what she had to do, took control every round, and dominated. Nelson knew what she needed to do. She knew, but she couldn't yes. do it. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. I, I think there'll probably be some criticism because she didn't throw enough body shots, but I think under the circumstances, she did what she needed to do. I think fighting somebody with a different style she might throw more yeah. shot. I don't think it's because she can't. And you see early in the fight, Nelson was winging her shots. That's her game. She did it against Clarissa Shields. And there she tried to jab with uh, with Hammer, but clearly Hammer a master at keeping the right distance so that she can jab. And then as the fight progressed, Nelson always trying, but almost 100% ineffectively. And there we see Hammer doing what I think she does best is the most effective when she punches in combination. Later in the fight, it pretty, I guess it became pretty clear. Hammer learned what, what Clarissa Shields learned, which is that some fighters just don't get knocked out. And you see the final numbers. Hammer, only 19% of her jabs. It's a low percentage, but she throws so many that she was able to control the fight there, and she did have the advantage in power shots as well. But 22% of shots landed for Hammer, that's a pretty low percentage for a fighter winning a fight. All right, let's go to the ring announcer, Pete Trevino. We'll make it all official here. We'll hear the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for both of the fighters in this ring. After 10 rounds of championship boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Procopio scores the contest 100 to 90. Judge Roussel and Judge Chambers both score the contest 99 to 91. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still the WBO and WBC female middleweight champion of the world, Christina Lady Hammer. So there's your winner, Christina Hammer, and she does so in impressive fashion. Winning on uh, all or winning all the rounds on one card or two cards and winning nine of the ten rounds on the third card. So Christina Hammer uh, intended to come over here and impress people, and I believe that's exactly what she did. Let's go to Steve Farhood is with Christina Hammer.
Christine, I know you're posing for some photos here, but congratulations on a dominant win. Did you do exactly what you wanted to do in the ring? So the best answer uh, will, be, will be a KO, but this decision I accepted. She was a tough fighter, and she get she can get so much hit, hit, uh, punches, and so she's a tough. And uh, I hope the USA is um, uh, is good with this, and I'm the champ. You're still the champ. Did you do what you wanted to do to impress the American boxing audience? Then I have to say the, the public. Who is the public? Christina, was there a time that came in the fight where you said to yourself, I'm just not going to get the knockout, that I have to take the win on points? Um, I tried every second, that's boxing, every second everything can happen and you have to be careful till, till the uh, gong and that's all. Now, there's another fight coming up tonight. I assume you're going to be watching. As Claressa Shields fights Hannah Gabriels, what will you be looking for? Will you be trying to scout Claressa or the winner? Uh, I'm very interested in this fight. I can't wait to see this fight and let the best win. And I'm ready for this fight. Uh, who, who is the winner? I fight against it. Congratulations. We'll talk to you later. Barry. And back here in Detroit, we look at the monument to Joe.